This is the side of the house. We're gonna head into the crawl space slash basement of the house. All right, this is the AC system here. Sorry for the mess. It's a three and a half ton of mana. And I'll explain later on why that's gonna be important. And here we go. We decided to build the box up in this corner. Primary reason for wanting to build the box here was I had two ports. An exit port over here for the hot air and a cold air intake over here. So this is my cold air intake that goes into the box and my hot air exit. This is a six inch fan that we were using. It's an inline duct fan using eight inch on the back end. This worked really good for a while. Um, and then a friend of mine came over who's an HVAC engineer who said, you know, why are we wasting this heat? I know we can find a better way of utilizing this and sat down and thought about it for a little bit. And we came up, uh, he came up with uh, running it through the AC system so that we can harness the heat and cool the machines all at the same time. So I'm no longer using the air intake duct here for cold air intake and the exhaust right is right here we just disconnected that uh, let's see i'm going to go ahead and open up the box for you guys this is my bitcoin mining box it's all sealed with weather stripping i'm going to have to go inside now because i have to close the door uh, the system is pressurized so it doesn't work as well unless it's pressurized So this is the mining box. These are the four S minor sevens. I'm using EVGA 1600 T2s. I'm running it on 240 volts. I have an extra plug for an expansion for a fifth one. This is my air intake port. And there is a 14 inch air exit port. I have to, I'm ducting the hot air from the units using six inch dryer vents straight into the core. So that way the, the heat in the box is not built up. It's directed straight out of the box into the core. Um, using a net gear for my router. This is my 110 power line coming into the box. And my 240 plug. That port right there was my old fresh air intake. And then this was the exit port right here. But we've upgraded it from the eight inch with the six inch fan to a 14 inch. The, I used to have four and minor S5s down here, and that worked very well. I decided to upgrade two months ago to the S7s. I've had them running now for about 30 days. I got them in two different batches. I personally have to say I love the EVGA power supplies. They run very cool. Check the power consumption, they're using very low wattage. Unfortunately, I don't have any of this stuff set up right now. So these bad boys are hashing away and they're running cool at that. I'll have to I take you guys up to the screen and heating my house all at the same time. So let me get out of the box a little bit. Hopefully, I'm not sure how bad that video is to see if you guys can hear me. Unfortunately, I have to leave the box closed in order for the static pressure of the AC system to really be doing its draw and pumping the air out. You can see that that duct just did a, a change a little bit with the pressure. I didn't do it that time, but it's okay. This is my uh, trash pile, sorry. I'm in the, the crawl space. Um, 
trying to utilize these. So now I'm able to heat my house without the noise of these Antminer S7s. In another video, I'll show you guys how I tried to put one in the living room. And I've tried several different scenarios and testings and so forth. And I'll let you know uh, what I've found and what way works the best as we keep going through the videos. Um, this box that you see here was what I used with this duct. I had this mounted onto a wall. Uh, of course, I will get it switched up to metal, but I was using cardboard for uh, functionality testing. Uh, the heat to the box was tested at temperature. Temperature coming out of those ducts is about 100 degrees, 120 degrees, no cause of uh, creating a fire. So I wasn't worried about that. So this duct right here attached to the side of the box this was on the inside of the box. Uh, it's like so. And then I used the six inch collars, uh, duct dryer collars to connect them to the actual box itself. So that way what I'm doing is I'm directing the hot air. As long as you're using short runs, this is not gonna affect or hurt anything. All you're doing is channeling your hot air out and able to utilize it better or better organize it more or less and this method worked great unfortunately I noticed it's not gonna work for the summer and you're wasting a lot of heat uh, so I decided to order another fan um, I did a bunch of research as well on fans and different ones and I'll tell you which ones those were I think it was the uh, I didn't go with the hurricane I went with an, a vortex I believe a, a higher grade one because I wanted the reliability um, because Right now, the system utilizing the heat for the summer is gr or for the winter is great. The summer, I am concerned um, that I may be spending more money in AC cooling these systems. Uh, according to the engineers, this may not be the case. Uh, they believe that the house, the volume of the house, will maintain a temperature of 72 degrees or 70 degrees. Therefore, you are constantly pulling in all of the uh, cold air from the house and you're just cycling that air through to cool the miners so in theory you're not going to be adding that much more load to the system the miners four of them produce 18,000 BTUs um, so but we'll see when summer comes right now we're just get really getting to the dead of winter in North Carolina and um, the 48 hour heat test is going great uh, I'm really really uh, enthusiastic about uh, heating my house right now with the miners as this goes on um, I'll open these things back up and I'll show you how I, how I hooked up the six inch ducts they're just sitting here loosely as you can see just directing the air straight in so really each one of these ducts is sucking air Heating my house right now. So awesome. Um, but again, I'll update you guys with videos in the summer and let you know how the AC part works. Um, if, you know, if the engineers are right and theories and so forth. Um, right now, I just I may use this box again as a test. Uh, to put on to use those four ports over the 14 inch and then plug those in uh, cut a little uh, hole on the side of it to maybe like right here to let some hot air in out of the box and I'm going to test that and see what temperatures I'm getting out of the miners uh, right now the house is running at about uh, 70 degrees the miners are averaging about 55 Celsius. Some boards are 52, some are 53, some are 55. I think one might even be 56. Um, the one that's 56, I'm learning as I'm testing this. I gotta talk louder to make sure you guys can hear me. Um, these two are running cooler than the other one, and then the other two. Uh, and I believe that's the way the pipes are ducted. So I'm gonna play with that just a little bit and see if I can't get those running a little bit cooler down. I'll go back out of the box.
Well, guys, um, I think I've given you a brief, ex uh, good show of my four S miners, how they're heating the house right now in this video. I know there's a lot of questions you guys are going to have. Be feel free to ask them. I'll try to answer them the best I can. Um, I know I might have to make a lot of videos of exactly how this thing is set up, wired and ducted. Um, but right now, as you can see, my crawl space is insulated. So, uh, oh, I don't think I went into the main reasons of why uh, all of this came up so crucial um, to my friends and my HVAC buddy was because, as you can tell, I'm sucking outside air in before. And we went through a major rainy area in North Carolina. Uh, so this area got very humid. I was sucking in a lot of humidity air and he's designed and built a lot of server rooms and we're concerned about the humid air destroying the equipment. You know, at the cost of these pieces of equipment, we don't want to uh, damage them by using humid air in order to cool them unknowingly. I, I didn't even realize this uh, thinking about it. So I was all for trying this. Uh, and the beauty of this is because we're using the house and the system, the humidity level is actually 22% uh, of the air that we're pulling through instead of much like 90% that it had been the first uh, couple of weeks that I was running these machines. So to me, this is very important, especially on longevity. Uh, um, you know, if I'm here for the long haul. Uh, I'm hoping to maybe retire or so off of this uh, Bitcoin mining uh, here in 10, 20 years, who knows? But at least I'm starting with the ground level and I want to teach everybody as I go through. Um, the so again humidity level is something very important to think about uh i know you guys oh another thing that you might be asking is you didn't see any filters on this and that's because this port is being filtered uh through the upstairs uh filter um so this is coming from the house and there is a filter on it you just don't see it there is a media filter in the system and um so the air is getting filtered multiple times as it goes cycles through the house and through the box um so, yeah, again, humidity, guys, a very good thing to think about. Um, I've actually got a humidity sensor and stuff I can put down here in the box and create a video uh, and show you some of these meters. So, again, I uh, hope you have a great day. Um, and welcome to Bitcoin mining, and uh, hope you guys enjoy my short video. See you. Bye.